I'm going to read another excerpt from Rachel Heath's Lesbian Erotica. Before I do that, I thought I'd uh, just uh, show up my old body again. Okay. And here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is uh, Mrs. Danvers and Rebecca late one evening. And it's kind of a prequel to Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. She's with one of them now, amusing herself. I am in her room polishing and tidying things up for her, and I am sick with jealousy. My heart hammers cruelly against my chest. My stomach curdles with rage. She doesn't care. My lady doesn't care about me, about my feelings. She lives as she pleases, no matter what. I dust beneath the window pane gazing at the craggy shoreline on this warm spring night, hearing the waves rhythmically crash against the rocks. It's close to the time when she will return, and I light the candles before switching off the electric light. Then I hear her footsteps, light, almost prancing, unmistakably hers, my beautiful, selfish lady. Daddy, Rebecca greets as she dances in. Her angelic face is flushed with the joy of a fresh conquest. Her dimpled smile shows off a red, sensuous mouth and a set of gleaming white teeth. Her eyes sparkle with mischief. She stretches out that long, slender, cat-like body of hers. Yes, madam, I reply despite the intensity of my jealousy. I am hers. She sits at her dressing table. Hair drill, Danny, she says. I stand behind her, brushing that silky black short hair and adoring the enticing scent of azaleas clinging to her as she gazes into the mirror, admiring her reflection. I like her when it was long, but short is better. Her hair when it was long, but short is better for riding and sailing, she says. Her throaty voice falls an octave as she imitates her latest man. Oh, Rebecca, you must be the most beautiful world woman in the world. Then she laughs. Excitement begins in me. Small coals being stoked to the pit of my stomach. She leans back against the chair. My boots, Danny, she says. I kneel before my lady, worshipful, as I pull her black boots off. Gently, I massage Rebecca's delicate feet, unusually small for a woman of her height. Okay, and it goes on, and I hope maybe that'll lead you to want to buy Rachel Heath's Lesbian Erotica.